Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this guide on how to use the Technic platform installing the mod pack GT New Horizon as an example and installing our uh, optional client mod which I highly recommend because it does the chunk protection and feed the beast utilities. It's kind of like the main way to protect your property on our server so I do highly suggest it. So first you want to go to stonelegion.com or you can go to the Technic website if you want as well and uh, there's just a direct link to the launcher and basically you can take that and drag it to anywhere everywhere you want uh, we'll replace it oh apparently I had one on the desktop already but this is a fresh install you can call it you know Bob it doesn't matter what you call it it will run just the same and basically this is your exe to launch it each time uh, so highly doing uh, recommend just keeping it on your desktop uh, so I would suggest keeping it all default if you want to change it go ahead but I'm just gonna show you the default installation so itself, it's going to have to install the launcher, get some libraries, things like that, just to make sure things run properly. Uh, you're going to have to log into your Minecraft name. Uh, your, not just your Minecraft name, but the username. So if you haven't upgraded your Minecraft account for a million years, it would be just your name. If you, know, you did upgrade, it would be your email, of course. Now, if you feel unsafe about using your information, it doesn't get sent to them. But at the same time, you have to remember this is how these launchers work. You kind of, you know, you use it or you don't, right? Uh, just like the Curse one, etc. Except Curse does kind of semi-use the vanilla one. Uh, so uh, we're in the Technic launcher here, and it's all up and running. So basically, what you want to do is go to Launcher Options at the top right, and I would suggest setting your memory to say four or six gigs. I'll go ahead and do six. Uh, four should be more than enough for this pack, but if you want some, you know, breathing room, you can go ahead. I would not suggest using anything uh, lower than four, probably, and I definitely would never suggest using anything higher than six, unless this is like maybe a 1.10 pack, which they're kind of getting a little messy, and uh, maybe you should stay away from those. So we'll just close that, and it should be set fine. Uh, basically, you're going to go to mod packs and type in GT new, and it should find it for you. And at the bottom right, you can install, and it'll start installing everything for you. It's just like magic. Now, uh, while that's happening, uh, you can grab our optional uh, client, which, like I said, I recommend it. It basically will save you uh, from a lot of issues. There's a link here on the page, or you can click our resources and GT New Horizon, and you can click download here. It tells you what it offers here, so here's the information. Over time, we might add or remove things on here, so definitely check this out for information, what it adds and whatnot, and uh, it'll help you quite a bit. And then you can open that. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have. Uh, there you go. You can open that zip file, and uh, we'll use that in a couple of minutes here. We, we have to finish, uh, let it finish downloading everything, of course. Um, and then there will be there's a mod pack option here. We're gonna click that, but you want to make sure it's all downloaded first, so you're not accidentally bugging it out. Come on, you can do it. Once it's done downloading the mods, then it has to download the Minecraft libraries and things because this is a fresh install, right? So it's not just only installing their stuff, but it's going to also install vanilla Minecraft. Uh, it grabs everything from them directly. So it's going through that. It's going to scan. Uh, it uses MD5. So like if there's a big update, the nice thing about this pack is that it will only download what's needed to be updated. It won't have to download, you know, a million files again, over again and apply them. Maybe besides like the config file, if it's zipped up in one big file, but uh, overall the mods won't re-download, which is nice because the curse launcher, you know, if you have a 300 megabyte pack, every time there's an update, you have to download those 300 megabytes again. They literally clear out the folder and do it again and so it's a bit taxing if you're a mobile user that would be shocking uh, go to mod pack options so not launcher options but mod pack options and uh, there you go and uh, click open up here so this is the installation folder this will open the location for it is and uh, you of course you downloaded our optional pack you just go on here you, you hit replace for anything it needs and that's it and you're done. You can close that. You can close that. And uh, you don't want to hit reinstall pack. But if you have a problem or something down the road, uh, you might want to. Every time there's an update, you're going to want to download our client uh, optional clients again. So if you see an update or need an update, go and grab our optional clients only because there might be a new update on our side. Maybe we have to fix something, whatnot. So I highly recommend grabbing a new version each time. Uh, and then all you have to do is hit play and boom, Minecraft itself will launch here and you're ready for the races. So 
Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope this was a useful video for you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and don't forget the game. It will pause for quite a long time uh, because it has great tech. Uh, this takes a good five minutes for most people to uh, fully launch. I think one guy said 10, but his computer is quite old. Uh, but it will take you a while, so be patient. Go grab yourself a coffee, some biscuits, and uh, come back. Anyways, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time.